Hi, my name is Subedur Rahman. I am undergraduate final year zoology student at AKS Pune College, Pune. Today, in this poster, I am presenting one of the important initiatives taken towards the declining migratory birds initiative, that is the Arctic Migratory Birds Initiative. The Arctic birds are those birds which are found in the region around the North Pole, so near the North northern Europe, northern Russia and the Canada. So migratory birds fly hundreds and thousands of kilometers to find the best ecological conditions and habitats for feeding, for breeding and for raising their young ones. But when conditions at their breeding sites become unfavorable, then it's time to migrate from the Arctic region to the non-Arctic region where the conditions are better. So there are many different migration patterns, but majority of the birds migrate from northern breeding areas to southern wintering ground. Migratory birds have perfect morphology and physiology to fly uh, fast and across long distances. The red knot bird, which I have taken here for consideration, it has one of the longest total migration routes of any bird, traveling up to 16,000 km twice a year. As migratory birds depend on a range of sites along their distribution areas, the loss and degradation of habitats could have a dramatic impact on birds' chances of survival. So what I am presenting today in this poster is that AMBI is designed to improve the conservation status and secure the long-term sustainability of declining Arctic migratory birds population. Then conservation of Arctic flora and fauna, that is CAWF, of Arctic Council undertook the Global Arctic Biodiversity Assessment, which found that many Arctic migratory species are threatened by overharvest and habitat alternation outside the Arctic. So whenever these Arctic migratory birds migrate towards non-Arctic regions, so there are there are many human induced disturbances, that's why they are facing the threats there. So AMBI is a direct response to this calls for action because this global assessment states that some of the Arctic migratory bird species have, have experienced population and decline as much as 80% over the last few decades. So this is a very huge declination rate of migratory birds. Next theme of this poster is on the development and work plan of AMBI. So AMBI has brought together experts in Arctic migratory bird species and conservation issues across the globe. And then after that, these experts uh, identified three major conservation issues which are faced by Arctic migratory birds. Number one is a habitat loss and degradation especially in the intertidal areas. Number second is an unsustainable harvest and number third is the marine bycatch. So work plan were developed to identify priority actions to address these issues in world's four main flyways. So there are four main flyways in the world. First is the Asian Australasian flyway, then uh, African Eurasian flyway, number third is an American flyway and number fourth is a circumpolar flyway which is newly defined and which addresses the species that spent their whole life cycle in or near the Arctic. So flying long distances involves crossing many borders between countries with differing environmental politics, legislation and conservation issues. So it's evident that international cooperation among governments, NGOs and other stakeholders is required along the entire flyway of a species in order to share knowledge and to coordinate conservation efforts. So the first is the East Asian Australasian Flyway Coordinator which is based in Singapore and it supports the priority actions along this flyway to prevent loss and degradation of habitat and address unsustainable harvest. Now the second flyway is an African Eurasian Flyway Coordinator and it is based in Germany and it supports the priority action along the entire flyway to uh, prevent loss and degradation of habitat and address unsustainable harvest. Number third flyway is an American flyway coordinator and it is based in Ecuador and it supports the priority actions along with this flyway to prevent loss and degradation of habitat and address unsustainable harvest. Although the legal framework and coordinating instruments necessary for such global cooperation and that is provided by multilateral environmental agreements such as CMS and AEWA. CMS is a conservation of migratory species and AEWA is an African Eurasian water bird agreement. As, as we know, India is a part of Central Asian flyway of migratory birds and 
as well as the migration route of migratory arctic birds so in every three years the cms that is the conservation conference of parties to the convention on the conservation of migratory species is held in different countries then uh, in this year 13th conference that the cms cop 13 is held in india between 7 february 17 and 20 in which india and russia propose to collaborate for conservation of uh, migratory birds species and strengthen bird co conservation efforts so we have also a day for world migratory birds a global outreach and it is an effective tool to help raise global awareness of the threats faced by migratory birds their ecological importance and the need for international cooperation to conserve them so the red knot bird is a medium-sized shore bird scientifically known as Calidus canutus and it breeds far north of Canada, Euro Europe and Russia. So this is the graph of three shore bird species population decline in the world. So if you want to see them in India you will have to visit uh, Pulikat Lake in Nello district of Andhra Pradesh state in uh, India. So this were all about where I am headed and I am going to be using this really fascinating.